Hello, I'm Brian Farrell, and welcome to Pace IT session on the introduction to the transport layer. Today we're going to be introducing the transport layer, and then I'm going to do an introduction to TCP, and then an introduction to UDP. And with that, let's go ahead and begin this session. I'll begin by introducing the transport layer. Now, most network models follow the OSI, the Open System Interconnect model of networking. It's composed of seven different layers. Layer 7 is the application layer. Layer 6 is presentation. Layer 5 is session. Layer 4 is transport. 3 is network. 2 is data link. And layer 1 is the physical layer. The layers all work together to create a system of communication that allows for different types of computing systems or networks to communicate with each other reliably. Now, layer 4, or the transport layer, receives data from the session layer, layer 5, and it determines what method or type of delivery is required for that data. The transport layer then hands the data with instructions for the method of delivery to layer 3 the network layer, which is then responsible for determining where the data is going. Now there are two main protocols used in the transport layer. Those protocols are TCP and UDP. With that, let's jump into the introduction to TCP. So TCP stands for Transmission Control Protocol. Now, it's a protocol that determines the type of delivery method that will be used in network communication. TCP uses a reliable method of delivery. And by that, TCP helps to set up the connection session. It establishes error control. And then it helps to tear down the network session once the communication is completed. Now, part of TCP's reliable delivery method is its three-way handshake. The first part of the handshake is a request for a connection. It then receives the response from the other end. That's the second part. The third part is when TCP sends an acknowledgement back that also sets the sequence number that will be used in this stream of communication. Now, every packet that gets sent must be acknowledged by the receiver. If the sender doesn't receive the acknowledgement of a packet, the sender will then resend the packet all packets are sent and received in order. Now this does cause some network overhead, but TCP doesn't care about the overhead. Now let's move on to the introduction of UDP. UDP stands for User Datagram Protocol, and it's a protocol that determines the type of delivery method that will be used in network communication, just like TCP. In contrast to TCP, UDP uses an unreliable method of delivery. It doesn't help to set up the connection session, it doesn't establish error control, and it doesn't help to tear down the network session. Now, UDP could better be described as a best effort delivery method. It sends the data stream to the destination, trusting that the destination is A, listening for the data stream, and B, willing to accept that data stream. The data stream flows with no acknowledgement of it being received. UDP doesn't care if the other end of the stream actually receives the data. It's going to send it anyways. Now, not all network traffic can be treated the same. That is why there are both reliable and unreliable delivery methods. With TCP, the sender can be assured that the other end of the line has received all of the packets that were sent and that the packets were received in the proper order. This works really well for communication that is not sensitive to latency issues that are associated with the overhead of reliable delivery. UDP, on the other hand, strips off the overhead but sacrifices reliability. It is suited for network communication in which speed is more important than reliability. When using voice over IP, VoIP, it is more important for the flow of packets to be continuous than to be held up while waiting for packets to arrive in the right order or waiting for an acknowledgement. VoIP communication can survive the occasional drop packet. Now that concludes this session on the introduction to the transport layer. I did an introduction to the transport layer. I then introduced you to TCP and then to UDP. 
Now, on behalf of Pace IT, thank you for watching this session, and I'm sure I'll do another one soon.